Hi and welcome in this video. In my last video I've shown you how to take a simple panorama out of your hand and in this video I will show you how to put everything together. I for this video now will use Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. This is the desktop version. You can use an older version as well. I think uh, Lightroom 6 should be fine as well. I don't know actually if it's in Lightroom 5. Um, I think they added it in 6, but I'm not sure because I have the subscription model. I can definitely recommend it. You can do it as well in Photoshop, but for now I do it in Lightroom. It works totally the same. So what I do, I have now the different images I took during the last video in Cornwall. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots, and the seven shots will be stitched together as one panorama shot. Okay, let's do it. So what I have to do, I just hit shift and mark all my images. I just go to the last image, hold shift, press it, and then click. Then all the images are selected, seven now in my case. I click right mouse button, and then I go to photo merge, and I go to panorama. Now it's creating a panorama preview, uh, which is great because you can just see how the panorama would look like when it's stitched together. And in this case, I have different options. Um, I can use spherical, which means that it's more of a panorama ratio. So it's not so tall, but very wide. When you use cylindrical, it's a bit more high and not that wide anymore. And when you go to perspective, it won't work. It says unable to merge the photos. Please try a different projection option. And this is because perspective you use most of the times when you do vertical panorama. When you want to learn how to do vertical panoramas, I definitely recommend you my video course on learnfrombend.com. I will talk about this later in this video. So for now we can choose, do we want more of, yeah, height? Or do we want more of width? So more panorama-like. I like it more panorama-like, so for this photo I will take it like this. I will use auto crop and you can use boundary warp. And boundary warp is amazing because you can just add more to your image. What will happen is that the corners sometimes bend when you use a wide angle lens. But in my case now, the sun is a bit cropped here in the left hand side. So I just want it to be you just have more space in the left hand corner. So something like this. So I use boundary warp now to this level. Depending on the image you've taken, you have to maybe set something else. And now we just hit merge. And that's actually the whole secret. Isn't it super simple? Depending on your computer and how fast it is and how big the files actually are, that might take some time. I have a very fast machine here, but still, because of the big files I have from the Sony A7R2 here in this case, it might take around one minute or something to just render the files together. But there we are, there is the final file. And as you can see, it looks very, very cool. We had some difficulties here with the water, so it's not easy for our program to stitch together moving water. It's simpler to just do a long exposure because then the water is smooth. But when you have like edges of waves and stuff, it might be difficult to stitch it together. In this example, it worked not that bad as well. The horizon sometimes with waves gives you um, yeah, some uh, trouble but in most of the times it works totally fine. And the great thing is now we have a DNG file. You can see it here. And DNG means it's a raw file. So you photographed everything in raw. That's of course what you have to do. You cannot create a raw file from JPEGs, but you photographed everything in raw and now you have a DNG file. So you can still um, have a lot of information like white balance, like dynamic range in this case. So I can see perfectly the sun star. That was one of my goals I wanted to do with this panorama shot. So I wanted to have the sun star and I can maybe put the shadows a bit up and stuff like this. So you can now edit your image however you want to edit it. You can add some presets, you can do whatever gradient filters uh, or what you want to use. And of course you can crop it more. So if you want to have it more like a panorama, so something like this, everything unnecessary down here away, you can crop it like this, just click done and then have your panorama shot. One thing is a bit strange here in this image. 
um, the horizontal line is a bit bended. That might be because of the boundary warp. So what I can do now, I can now just click with the level tool here, and click there, and now just level it a bit more that everything is straight in line. All right, that's it. Very simple, very effective way to do a panorama shot. So now you can be creative with your images. Quick commercial. If you want to learn more about panorama images in more advanced techniques with a tripod and with a nodal adapter, vertical panoramas and all the good stuff, I definitely recommend you my new video course. You find it on learnfromben.com. Just go to the advanced landscape photography and image editing video course. And there I show you in the almost four hour long video course how I photograph landscapes in Iceland and how I take amazing panorama shots like this one with a nodal adapter or vertical northern lights panorama shots like this one or like this one. This is as well um, a focus stacked image. This is a vertical panorama and this is a vertical panorama photographed at night with northern lights. I show you all my techniques and how I edit and how I photograph and everything as mentioned four hours long, freaking long. If you like this video and now are maybe inspired and want to take more panorama shots, uh, hit thumbs up, share the video with some of your photography friends, you might maybe try it out as well in the future, and of course subscribe to the channel. We almost have 100 free videos about photography on this channel right now, so many more to watch for you. And if you haven't seen the video about the photography part of the panorama shot, check out this video as well. It will be in the end card just in a few seconds. So see you in the next video and bye bye.